So today at the Worldwide Developer Conference, Apple announced the iPhone 4 and the iOS 4. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight uh, some of the uh, new features that the iPhone 4 has and the iOS 4 uh, are going to provide. And one of the biggest features that's creating a lot of buzz is uh, FaceTime. It is the ability for the iPhone 4 to allow you to do um, video phone calls. Uh, initially it's going to be over Wi-Fi, uh, but Apple said that hopefully by the end of the year or sometime this year, uh, AT&T will have their system ready to do the video phone calls over 3G. The demonstration that uh, Steve Jobs did was pretty impressive, and you'll be able to use the iPhone 4's front-facing or rear-facing camera. The iPhone 4 now comes with both. Um, so that'll be a really cool feature that uh, I personally am looking forward to. Uh, again, you'll only be able to do the video phone calls over Wi-Fi initially, but uh, eventually that'll be over 3G. That was, um, that was the biggest uh, feature that created a lot of, a lot of the buzz. The uh, other thing I want to talk about is multitasking now with the iOS 4. Apple's renamed it to iOS and it's now version 4 and um, you will now be able to do complete multitasking with the iPhone both the 3G, the 3GS and the new iPhone. Uh, multitasking will not be available on previous generations prior to the 3G um, because the hardware can't uh, handle the multitasking features of the iOS 4. Um, so you'll be able to run multiple applications now uh, with the iOS 4 on the iPhone uh, 4 and 3GS and uh, your iPod as well, your iPod Touch I should say. Another one of the new hardware features of the iPhone 4 is um, its new display and Apple is calling it the Retina display and it's 960 by 640 and it's four times as many pixels as the current iPhone 3GS. So the display is going to be four times better uh, than the current 3GS. And some of the uh, photos that I've seen on the Apple website are pretty impressive. Uh, I suggest that you guys go check them out because it's pretty... The, the images that the new iPhone can produce with the new display are pretty amazing. One of the cool new hardware features of the iPhone 4 is its ability to record HD video true 720p 30 frame per second HD video and that's going to give uh, manufacturers like Creative and Flip um, probably a little bit of heartburn uh, because those devices, the Flip and the Creative Vado, are both selling for about $150 each and you'll now be able to get uh, a HD video recorder 720p 30 frames per second built into the new iPhone 4 for the cost of a new iPhone, which is going to be $199. So uh, that's pretty impressive, and uh, um, that alone is worth the price of the new iPhone. The other um, really cool feature that goes hand in hand with the ability to record HD video is Apple is now uh, making a version or porting a version of iMovie over to the iPhone and you will now be able to record HD video and edit the video on your iPhone and then upload it to YouTube or your mobile me account or any other video uh, provider um, that you currently display your videos on. So that in itself is pretty cool to be able to record HD video and then do all the video editing uh, on the fly with all the features that iMovie will have uh, will be really nice. You'll be able to um, add photos to your iMovies on the iPhone. You'll be able to add uh, your music from your iTunes li library to your videos that you create on the iPhone. So you'll see a lot of the features that you currently use in iMovie right now available in the uh, version for the iPhone. Um, and that's going to be pretty impre impressive as well. So the new version of the iPhone is available for pre-order. Uh, starting next week on uh, June 15th and then you can actually order it uh, on June 24th and Apple did work out a nice deal with AT&T if you are a current um, iPhone customer with AT&T you will be able to upgrade to the iPhone 
for $199 for the 16 gigabyte version or uh, $299 for the 32 gigabyte uh, version of the iPhone 4. I mean, you're going to have a front-facing camera, a rear-facing camera, a flash, the ability to record HD video, edit the video, the ability to do um, video calls uh, initially over Wi-Fi. You'll have a display that's four times better and more vibrant than the current iPhone. Um, a faster processor. It uses Apple's new A4 processor. Uh, that's my quick rundown and review of the iPhone 4. It was a pretty impressive uh, announcement today and um, the video from the Worldwide Developers Conference will be up on the Apple website probably sometime tomorrow, maybe later today. So go to apple.com and check out the new iPhone 4 and the new iOS 4. And uh, if you guys have any questions, just uh, leave a comment below. You can also follow me on Twitter. It's uh, my uh, Twitter feed is uh, my Apple Zone. And uh, if you you know if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment bar below or send me an email to myapplezone at gmail.com. It's myapplezone at gmail.com, and I answer all emails and and uh, answer all comments. So thanks for stopping by, you guys. Go to the Apple website. Check out the new iPhone 4 and the new iOS 4. Pretty impressive. Again, available next week for pre-order and then on the 24th for, for uh, actual ordering. So thanks for stopping by, and I'll talk to you guys later.